we went on a road trip. The next day. just outside of Washington, uh, about 20 minutes out of Washington actually, about halfway between Washington and Baltimore. These cities are actually really, really quite close together. Uh, we spent last night walking around Washington, a place for a little wee walk. Here's a fun fact. This is the National Christmas tree of America, and this is it in summer, and this is it. Winter. If you spread the lights out, they would be the length of three Washington monuments, which is right there. The tree is an heirloom star on its top. Surrounding the magical tree is 56 smaller trees, each decorated with one of a kind ornaments from a farm in North Carolina. They are representing each US state, territory, and the District of Columbia. But when a light bulb blows, somebody comes out, dresses Santa, and fixes it. The more you know. But today we are heading off to Gettysburg, Strasbourg, starting off in between Baltimore and Washington. <sighs> that should be an absolute ripper. Kelsey has awoken from her slumber. It is such a majestic sight to see. <laughs> Behold, the early morning, Kelsey. <laughs> the struggle every morning trying to get down from there. The eggs and uh, OJ. A whole bunch of. Uh, Yellow and orange for breakfast. Pennsylvania. Uh, this is Gettysburg. And that is the Gettysburg Monument. And uh, the battlefield is, is over there. This is them building that. This one here is that one there. Yep. I see that. Mm -hmm. This one here is the one that's there now? Uh, no. I see the that happened just there. Here we are on the Confederate side and the uh, Kelsey went up the tower. I guess I'm going up the tower as well. That stuff is out there. Would you like me to do it? Big round top. That is um, Eisenhower's old farm. Neat. Big old cannon. Flashback. There's a reason why it took three days to fight. This place is huge. Next time I come, I'll be heading up to uh, Big Round Hill and Little Round Hill, heading over the other side of the road. That is me from the Gettysburg battlefield. And a flashback. Well, that was a little over five years ago. And I am back at Confederate Avenue. Just over there is um, Little Round Top and Big Round Top. It's almost as warm in winter as it is in summer. 
Who knows, I might come back in another five years. The road to the Round Tops is closed. I'm gonna try and get around another way. We can't get to Little Round Top. And the roads to Big Round Top are closed. Yeah, that's less than ideal. Five minutes later. So, we found a um, little round top, another road up to it. It is also closed. Kelsey is quite a sneaky devil and found that path which goes up that hill into the sunshine. And according to the map, it is round top. So next time I come here, I only need to climb little round top. This is half the job done. I'm gonna have to start that video on that bridge right there. Almost just up there. <laughs> this is the top of Round Top. The big Round Top, the big round hill, as I said five years ago. I see the entire battlefield from here, which is kind of cool. This is quite neat. And Chelsea found this. Yeah. Well, the drive around here was like a 10 minute drive. We have been to the top of the hill and now we are on our way back down. And then we're going to stop at an ice cream shop. I am looking forward to ice cream. <laughs> ice cream! <laughs> ice cream! Yep, so there's the Devil's Den over there. This is a little grouping of boulders. And it was where a whole bunch of um, guys died when the Confederates had tried to take it from the Union guys, I think. It's a blood bar. Shoe house, unfortunately, it's not open. And Kelsey really wanted to see him. This is a disappointed Kelsey. Five minutes later. When we get a disappointed Kelsey, we generally need ice cream to cheer her up. This is a Jim Max ice cream. Jim Max me some ice cream. Ice cream. And a quick shake. Nice. Smoke shake. Mm -hmm. Is it working for you? Really thick, but it's still But we are on our way to Strasbourg. How good is that milkshake? So good. It really has to be one of the best milkshakes I've had. Whoa, what is that? Look at that bridge. I think we're going across that. This is a neat bridge. This is quite a neat bridge. And Kelsey will explain more about this bridge. This is the uh, Veterans Memorial Bridge and it was built in 1812. Yeah. Survived a few a few things in its lifespan. Otherwise known as the Columbia Wrightsville Bridge. It has a long and storied past. It survived destruction orders from General Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> And more recently, they made modifications so that they could, uh, so it could carry locomotives across the river. Cool. Yeah. This week gone by, it survived uh, negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still frozen. There was a lot of ice out there. Let's go into the van and see some pretzels. We're leaving this location. Jumps. Jeff the Mary's uh, Amish cousin and his Forklift Bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, we gotta go right. right. Up we go. Moments later. Okay, Cassie, what are we doing here? I'm about to go and find some pretzels from the Julius Sturgis pretzel bakery. If we got here early enough, we could have twisted our own butt. We didn't, because we were doing other things. Oh, this is exciting. So they don't have any pretzels for sale at the moment. This is a model 
of them making pretzels. Yeah. That's a page of laughs. Oh, you can just, uh, come here. Who are you? Oh. Right, like, I don't know what it's like. You're a neat looking pretzel. Oh, quite nice. A few moments later. Twenty minutes later. Here we are at the Pennsylvania State Transportation Museum. And in here is a statue of Mr. Baldwin from Baldwin Locomotives. And these are a whole bunch of his locos. God, trains! Unfortunately, we are here after it closed. But we've got the drone up over there taking a hyperlapse of the sunset. So that should turn out pretty neat. We're going to run across the road and have a look at the Norfolk Western, which is on the Strasbourg Railway. This is neat. Wow. Wow. This is huge. Pretty darn neat. Central Philadelphia. Yes, we are at Chili's. We get in there. We just met Gary, and he wants camper, and he told us to go and eat. So we're going to go and eat. And there we go. Well, that was nice. Chili's. It was Chili's. And out here, it's not too chilly. Warmer. There you go. Oh, yeah, that? so kind. <laughs> Later that same evening. There's some light. Okay, we are in Philadelphia. In a Walmart car park. Yeah, in a Walmart car park on Christopher Columbus Boulevard. This is a classy part of town from what we have seen thus far. We are getting ready to be Triple S. Shave shower. Yes. Yeah, we're getting ready to do that. From us to here in Philadelphia. See you tomorrow. Bye.